Neighbors in Southeast Charlotte are expressing their concern tonight after a one year old was killed and a seven year old was hurt in a shooting. Good evening. I'm Morgan Francis. The shooting happened last night around eight o'clock at the Wallace Woods Apartments on Wallace Road. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger joins us live from CMPD's Independence Division in Sydney. Such a tragic story. What have you learned today? Well, CMPD is still being very tight lipped about the details surrounding this incident, but neighbors say it was all just a tragic accident. They say a seven year old found a neighbor's gun and tragedy struck. I haven't been able to sleep all night. I have four kids and two that's seven, the age of the child that's in the hospital. Heartbroken neighbors at Wallace Woods Apartments say kids play outside here every day. But on Saturday, that play turned deadly. My child woke up this morning and basically said, we're not going to see her anymore. This anonymous neighbor says another woman left her purse inside a mother's apartment. She says the mother's seven year old son found a gun inside the forgotten purse and accidentally shot his one year old sister, killing her. Police say he also injured himself. He might have thought it was a play gun. Coincidentally, this weekend was Heal Charlotte's Stop the Violence Weekend. They're an anti violence nonprofit here in the Queen City. We use our talents to be able to do something, but some things are out of our control. We're praying for the family. Uh, we're praying for everyone that is involved. Another young life taken. We love this child. Pretty, smart. She's going to be missed. And another plea for it all to stop. The solution is a lot of different organizations, a lot of different people. If everybody does a little bit, nobody would have to do a lot. Again, CMPD has not themselves released specific details, nor the identity of that one-year-old child. They do say, though, that seven-year-old sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Neighbors say he is still in the hospital. I'm live at CMPD Independence Division. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.